have a question from Kaylee and Matt Lovelady. They're the owners of I Love It CrossFit in Linden, Washington. Love the name. Yeah. I love it. Uh, they want to know when will the CrossFit Open be, assuming COVID restrictions even let us run it this year, and, and uh, that they would love to see the Open return and stay in February and March. Okay. Well, I'll start with the ending question. Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, people want to see the Open to go back to where it's always in, been prior to 2019 in February. So I'm happy to tell you that the Open is going to be in February and March. Um, and, and that will lead to what I can tell you for sure, which is hard to say anything for sure in this world right now with COVID and so on. Um, I can tell you for sure we're going to be running the Open in February, March, and that is going to lead cohesively to a CrossFit Games, which I think will end up being, we don't have dates for the Games, but if I had to guess, it will be later in the year versus where it's traditionally been for the sole important reason that we want to maximize the chances that we can have a, as big a field as possible of participants and that we could, God forbid, have a live audience one of these days, right? Yeah. And um, all the infectious disease experts that we're talking to and everything that I've read and others have read are saying like, we've got to, we've got to count on a pretty high probability of COVID impacts on live events for, um, for more than a year, for, you know, for another year or so. And we're seeing that with the biggest concert promoters are pushing back their biggest concerts to the summer and beyond. And so we have to say like as a planning assumption, it's highly likely that the, you know, kind of the later the games goes, the more likely we can have a bigger field and, and again, ideally um, a live audience of some kind as well. Mm -hmm. Now this is gonna vary by part of the world and all that. The other things I will say, so we're, try, we're making a COVID proof game season for sure, that's number one. Number two is um, we've been asked about um, you know, regionals and stuff like that. And um, are we going back to regionals? And I would say everybody seems to want the open in February that I've talked to. Um, it doesn't fit with all the event schedules of some of our event partners, and, I, and I'm sympathetic to that, but there's kind of an overwhelming demand on the regionals versus, um, versus kind of sanctioned events side. I think the field's pretty split. Um, do, do people want formal regionals, or do they want kind of a, a more of a grab bag of crazy events? Um, we like the grab bag of crazy events operated by partners. It, it really is in the spirit of CrossFit. It's very much like affiliates themselves. Mm -hmm. We like that these events have unique personalities. And so um, we're, we're very much going to lean towards that model versus the traditional regional model. But we are going to create much more integration and partnership with both, on both the athlete front and the, uh, and the event partner front. But we're, we, and there's a lot of other cool stuff we have in mind with, um, with the future of the sport, but I already went beyond the question. Yeah, but that's exciting too. And so we are, we are looking at February and March then. We are 100% so, so February Kaylee and March. And Matt and, oh, let me say one more thing. <laughs> let me say one more thing. We, um, I'm calling on everybody, like we want to make this, CrossFit is already, the CrossFit Open's already the biggest participatory sport in the world, in the history of the world. I want to set a new record in 2021, so you guys all got to help me here. We want to hit half a million people around the world for the first time. We've, we've been at about 400,000-ish for the last few years. This is the year we're going to hit over half a million. And I know, um, I know Dave Castro has some great stuff on tap to make the open not only um, you know, very challenging, we can count on that with Dave, but even more accessible to people who are earlier into their CrossFit journey. And again, being thoughtful about what's going on with COVID and so far, so on. And the fact that we won't necessarily be able to have 20 people in a gym at the same time doing wads and things like that in parts of the world. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna figure so it out. So half a million. Happen, yeah.